right? Number seven is mortgage brokers. They know when deals fall apart due to lenders' requirements not being met immediately before closing. They need an emergency solution or they lose out getting paid entirely. So just like I was talking about with real estate agents, when that deal falls apart, blows up, when the lender pulls that deal, the, the mortgage broker has two options. Uh, throw up their hands and forget about it or try to take it to another lender and try to scrap it back together if they possibly can. Well, guess what? You're an alternative for a mortgage broker. So if that deal has blown up because the people blew apart their um, debt to income ratio or something showed up on their credit report, you see, here's what happens. When somebody gets approved for a loan, they get that loan approval letter. However, right before the closing, the lenders turn around and re-verify everything. So the day before closing, all of a sudden they find that something is different on that credit report. They find something's different about the job. It happened to me. Oh my gosh. I had this lady that was qualifying for a $250,000 loan. And all of a sudden she tells me, well, they, the Emory University offered me this great job. And she said, I took it. I said, holy cow, are you telling me you quit your job? I said, you know, we're like two days from closing, right? She said, yeah, I thought this would be great because I'm going to get the Turner chair at Emory University and all this stuff. I said, no, this is, <laughs> this is terrible news. I said, you just blew your deal. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Uh, of course, I didn't do anything to cause that. I just, I just fiddled while, uh, while they found out on their own. And so she didn't have her job anymore. When they re-verified her job, they said, no, she doesn't work here anymore. And oh my gosh. So all of a sudden, I ended up having to be her lender for, I think, uh, 15 months. Uh, so we turned around and uh, instead of selling the property for cash, like we thought we were selling two days from then, we had to turn around and be the bank for her uh, for about 15 months. So definitely things like that do happen. And when they happen, guess who knows about it? It's the mortgage broker that knows about it. So they can be a great ally of yours. And, and uh, definitely what do you do is go ahead and Google mortgage brokers within that zip code or those zip codes that you're working and get in relationship with those folks. Let them know who you are, what you do, and how you can help because mortgage brokers often get people that have less than perfect credit and they can't get them qualified for a traditional loan, but they might be able to work for your loan.